Orion or Oreo, he has goes by both names. Um, came to us because he was just being neglected. The owner had run out of money and could no longer afford to feed him anymore. Um, but I'm very glad he came to us and didn't stay there because he was supposed to be a riding horse. From the age of five, their teeth grow, their, their adult teeth grow, and they grow with what we call cups, in, which is a dent in the, the um, eating surface of the tooth. And that will continue to grow up until 10, where it will start to recede. Um, so you can tell the age if they're between five and 10 from that. His are almost worn away. He's younger than I thought though, because you can still see them a bit. After the cups are worn away, they'll get stars in their teeth. You're being a very good boy. Um, and you can tell the age of the horse from between 10 and 15 from the, the level of the stars in the teeth, which is um, a black mark, again, in the eating surface of the teeth. And then you've got Galvin's groove. So this groove here starts growing between um, 10 and 15, it will get to halfway. And then from 20, it will hit to the bottom of the tooth. And then after 20, it will start receding from the top because as the tooth grows down, um, it grows down and grows out. And then as the tooth is um, worn away, the line from the bottom is worn away and it disappears and then um, between sort of 25 and 30 then there won't be a line there at all anymore so after the age of 25 it's very hard to tell how old a horse is and most of our horses here are over 25 and then there's other problems which i'll show you later which cause um, difficulties in aging horses by teeth which is cribbing which is what shanty down there is doing i don't know if you can zoom in on that and get it so what Shanti's doing here is called cribbing or um, wind sucking and it's a stereotypical behaviour caused by stress and anxiety. So when a horse has stress and anxiety in its life it finds a way of releasing that and a lot of horses do this in, in stable conditions. Shanti's life no longer has stress and anxiety but it's a habit that he's picked up that he now can't get rid of. But back to teeth, back to teeth. After the age of seven, this top incisor at the corner gets a hook here, I think. This hook here, all oh, my fingers gone. Um, and then by the time he's eight or nine, this hook has disappeared. So that only puts this horse at around nine years old, I would say, from the wear of his teeth. Um, as they get older as well, you'll see when we get to some older horses, they get longer and the angle comes out more. When they're younger, it's more vertically up. <laughs> we can also look at the molars, but you can't tell anything about the horse's age from the molars. But oh, you can grab a horse's tongue out this gap in the side. You could also lose your finger like this sometimes. And uh, I don't know if he'll let us open up his mouth. It's very good for them to open their mouths nice and wide. It relaxes the jaw, stops them clenching it. <laughs> Whoopoo! So this is Shavi. He's another one of our younger horse members um, because typically as a thoroughbred is, which is what he is as a thoroughbred, he, he's very broken. <laughs> he at some point will have been um, run hard, possibly raced, road raced, on hard surfaces over long periods of time. And because of that, um, his pedal bone, the bone in the, in the inside of the foot, is completely crushed. Because he's a thoroughbred, his soles are very thin um, and too much wear and tear on hard ground and too much galloping on solid ground with shoes on, which means that there's no suspension in the foot creates this problem of the pedal bone being crushed. So he will never be um, comfortable and sound without boots on. So he has boots on 23 hours a day and we just take them off for an hour a day to let his feet get some air to them. Um, but it's not a comfortable hour, is it? But without that, we'd get all sorts of other problems. So we have to compromise. Anyway, let's see if we can work out how old he is from his teeth. Because again, we don't have a passport for him. So, see if we can go in front of you, but you're probably going to get grumpy with me. Oh no, he's a good boy. All right, we have teeth. 
that are over five because they're starting to angle and they're a bit yellow. We have the remnants of the seven year hook which has grown out, so he's over seven. And we have no longer, I think, cups on the chewing surface of the tooth, this one in here. So there are, it's really hard to show the camera that. Yeah. So the cups have worn out completely, there's just lines left. Let's see the top. And let's see if the Galvin's groove has started. No, so there's the groove, but there's not actual line. Which would put him at 12. No Galvin's groove line. The cups are worn out. The seven year hook is gone. I'm happy with my guesstimate of 12. Good boy. This is Fanta, Phantasma. She's an old lady, I know that much. Phantasma also has a, a fly mask on because she only has one eye, so we protect it at all costs. We don't want to lose another one, do we? It's a bit dirty. Okay. okay, let's have a look at these teeth, shall we, Phantasma? We have filthy, dirty yellow teeth that have worn down to being short again. Okay, this is really cool to look at compared to birdies who still have long teeth. Vandas have gotten shorter. We know for a fact they're not short because she's young, because you can look at the rest of the horse and work that one out. So she's over 25. Um, she's not very happy. Get the tongue. Oh, it's really slimy tongue. And have a proper look in there. Yeah, all of the grooves and lines are worn away. The angle of the teeth is really, really great, especially at the bottom jaw there. Whee! There will be hopefully no, not a trace of a seven year hook. No. I don't like this Galvin's groove, I don't trust it. We'll see. Good girl! So over 25 from the looks of those teeth. Very hard to say between 25 and 30. Over 30 they generally don't have much in the way of teeth left. We've had some terrible wind the last few days, so Birdie has her beautiful space mask on which protects her eyes from the wind, protects it from all the dust blowing in them. Birdie, we'd like to have a look at your teeth. Would you be allowed to do that? Birdie's called Birdie, by the way, because um, <laughs> when the vet came, when we first got her and scanned her microchip, it turned out she had the microchip of a bird. So we called her Birdie. Let's have a look at your teeth, little lady. Okay, we have teeth here at a greater angle. Oh, it's a good girl. Than those of Xavi. We have the seven year hook randomly still there, so I don't think that that's a very good indicator of age. Because I know she's very much older than seven. <laughs> Can I see again? Okay. You're a very good girl, yes. And then we have the eating surfaces, the chewing surfaces are no longer concave, they are convex. So they're being worn down, so the teeth have stopped growing and they've started to slowly get shorter again, which makes it her over 22, I believe. Um, I'm assuming the Galvin's groove is just completely worn away now. It's really not there, so if it's not there, So definitely over 20, 
not over 30 and I'd say their teeth are in a really good condition so under 25 again I'm going to go somewhere around 22. So Star has um, still has a bit and definitely in the past had some bad habits of wind sucking or crib biting. I've never seen her do it here but you can tell from her teeth because these teeth here are completely worn away. Oh, these ones at the side here, see that? That comes from, from some sort of bad habit. This isn't normal wear and tear at all. However, we can still see the rest of your teeth. Stop being grumpy, Star. She's not ancient either. So the teeth are still long, they haven't started receding, which means that the eating surface is completely smooth and flat. With just little stars in it. Gavin's groove is gone somewhere around 2022, 20, I would think. When she came, if that's the truth of it or not. Good for you to relax that face a bit. He's going to fix his boots up and then we'll see if she'll walk. Because it's twisted. Untwist it, because you look like you've got a club foot. Get your balance, please. Good girl. Balance, come on. 